What's up, people? What's up, what's up? DJ Shablast, so I sat over there. What's Man. going on? Man. All I right. Had to, I had you to work it out. Again. You, had to, you did it again. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I, Each I, and every time. Man. I love it. I love it. I you love know, it. we got a... Uh, uh, entertaining conversation tonight. I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about, and um, some things have happened today that you know out in the hip hop world, which we all know you big in. So I want to you know get your thoughts and get your opinion and get the audience uh, thoughts and opinions on it as well. Um, so looking at um, some of the things that's going on, it's surprising, but not. But what are your thoughts on this whole P. Diddy thing that's going on today? Like the raiding of his his homes and his kids involved. What do you think about that? Well, I think uh, I think he's a black entrepreneur that said to the music industry, we do what we want to do. You know, from changing clothes, changing changing clothes instead of wearing suits to meetings. They did all that, man. They sweatsuits, shorts, uh, hoodies, going into million, billion dollar meetings. So, you know, they're tearing down any of our black moguls that would have something to say and people would listen. A lot of artists aren't conscious and a lot of artists aren't aware. So I think one of the biggest things about P. Diddy is, he's one of the people that started the vote, rock the vote. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a major, a major mogul that had all the big artists uh, for the 90s on up. You know what I'm saying? From Murray J to Joe to C to all the people that people love. So all he has to do is say certain things and it'll change the game for our people because our people will listen to these people. You know what I'm saying? If they say something that's going to disturb the plan, so they're destroying them. Um, you know, it goes back to 95 for me with the whole movement, bad boy movement. That really took the industry by surprise. And it really set a tone and it set a way for music. But what I also saw that era do is create a lot of people that want it to be. And you guys say wannabes, but there's a lot of people that wanted to be like those artists, wanted to have the money, wanted to have the cars, wanted to have the glamour, wanted to have the glitz, and they would do anything to get to it. Now, there's still a lot of those people out here, but one thing that I feel is that you don't know how people get their glam and they get their riches. So there was a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy in that aspect. But I also feel that the industry had those waymakers by the coattails. So they had to listen to what those big wigs were saying and doing to get to the point that they were. And it's kind of like, if you don't listen, like you just said, if you don't listen, we got you, so you better listen. And when you stop listening, that's when you start losing. You know, and then you have the people that followed and wanted to be just like them. And now everybody's starting to get exposed and it's starting to become this big situation where, okay, this person is starting to lose their fame and they're losing, you know, their money. And, you know, it's just different things that are it's starting to become a snowball effect because it's all connected. Well, so. I think I think one of the biggest things is you're right. It's um, DJ C Love said it's a is it a conspiracy? And I'm oh no, it's RBI. Hey, DJ RBI, my dog. So um, he's saying that it's probably a cons is it a conspiracy? I would say it's always a conspiracy when you're dealing with big money. You know, it's always somebody trying to tear somebody down if they don't do what they ask them to do. They get together and they say, okay, we're gonna shut this person out because they didn't do. You know, the biggest thing is about. Uh, people getting in the industry and the way they get to move up in the industry is they got to have sexual acts. Cause you hear a lot about yeah. getting to the big office and they saying, you know, Hey, Mariah Carey had to go through it. Mary J. Blige had to go through it. A whole bunch of artists, they're saying that a whole bunch of artists had to go through they had these breakdowns and where you if you don't do what I, I mean, even with Bill Cosby, they said the same thing about Bill Cosby. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't do this, I'll ruin you. You'll never make it in this industry. 
or when you try to make that big move, you collect and you accumulate all this money and you accumulate the fame. And when you try to make a big move, they just stop you in your tracks. I mean, it happened. It's happening more so than anything else right now. So it's you can see it, but we as the onlookers don't see who's actually doing it because it's such a secret. It's being kept closed, and they're doing a great job of keeping it closed as, to, as far as who's running it. But we're our people are the ones that are getting put on front street. Well, no, it's, it's not just our people. I mean, that's just what we see. The we, majority. We, that's we what only we care see. about our, our people at, at in one moment. You know what I'm saying? They might one grab of one of theirs. They grab oh. one of theirs here and there. No, they. But it's our people that are starting to, you know, they get the, the blunt force of it. And, I mean, that's just what I see. You know, that's my opinion. DJ C. Love said, could it be chickens coming home? I guess coming to roost. This is the year of truth. There's a lot of mad people out here. I think, you know, even if Diddy did all the things that he did, what caused it to come out right now? What caused Cassie to put that out there but right before that mall? Well, I think a lot of I think a, I think a lot of things are going to happen when we go into this new presidency stuff. The you, the conspiracies come out when we going into new presidencies. And when we're going through, get ready to go to war, it, they, we don't hear about the war because we're so focused on uh, uh, the artist, P. Diddy, or some. Yeah, it's, it's probably something happening. Well, America's probably into some other stuff, but we got your head over here, so you don't know we just bombed such and such over there. Yeah. Because it happened in the Bush administration. You know what I'm saying? The first Bush, not not the second for Bush, the first Bush. So we went to war, but we was on something else. We was arguing about something else, and he was dropping bombs overseas. They was hating America, but we didn't know. Personal. What? Well, what? Whatever it is, it's 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 conspiracy stuff, and the the powers that be, that's how they work it. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to know about what's going on. They want to keep you in the blind. They want you to know about the. The, 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 the tennis shoes that's coming out, uh, you know, and all these other things that they put in the way so you ain't paying attention to the, what the news is. Is that why uh, Trump made that tennis shoe so people can focus on that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he just keeping his eye in a in another direction, but really he going, you know, he ready to go to court. He about to do some other stuff. Who was that? Char Charmaine Dope, cause hey, ah, what up lady? But um, thank you for tuning in to The Word. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, yes. Yeah, so um, I think one of the main things is, man, you know, it's always a conspiracy theory that's sitting out there. And I think Diddy, I think, I think, I think geniuses and total uh, big people, moguls and all that stuff, I think they have a lot of stuff going on with them. A lot of them, I mean, being a genius, you were like right there. It's a thin line. So to crazy and genius, mm -hmm. you know, most geniuses have issues, yo. They got real bad issues. You know, you think about drug, uh, uh, you think about, um, what's his name? Um, hit the road, Jack. You come back Ray no Charles. more. Than Ray Charles. He was a genius. Mm -hmm. He was blind. He was a, he was a womanizer, a woman beater. Like, <laughs> He had a lot going on. I mean, but that's not just that one artist. I mean, that's white artists, black artists, Spanish artists. They all go through that same situation where they're, they have that thin line. Yeah. From crazy to cool. I met some big artists that they were cool for a minute, but the next time I met them, they were very angry. They were very distant. And it was like crazy. Like they did stuff that I was just like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? But that's what I think. Yeah. See, love, what you think? I just think um, the judgment, innocent till proven guilty, in a sense, but when the proof is there before the innocent verdict in situations, you know, it, it's really not innocent until proven guilty because people don't treat you that way, you know. But right now, um, I know with the whole Diddy situation, his boys are grown, but his daughters are still young and I, I I wonder how it will affect their mental stability with everything happening hearing that 
their dad killed their mom and you know all this stuff you know that's going on it's just a lot you know it's, it's a lot for a child to take on but at the same time you got to think too what's happening what's going on with him you know because you know they also found tunnel underwater tunnels in his, his house well and i think i think you know, <laughs> i think when you buy a mansion those are the wow factors well i mean but they did say child trafficking i'm just as saying as well. I'm so just, that's why i bought the kids up in right that situation so i get that but on in his defense that's a wow factor. When you buy a big mansion, mm -hmm. to have hidden rooms is amazing. It is. And, and, it's, and people will come for you, so you got to have, what's the room called? It's a panic room. But any time that there has been an issue like that, um, when it comes to child trafficking, you hear of tunnels. So when, you, when they report this, and they report this in his home, you automatically start to think, well, dang, they're raiding his home possibly for child trafficking, but he also has tunnels, water underwater tunnels in his home. So you start to think that. I mean, you know I don't, I, mean? I don't think that. I do. I, 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 mean, I, I understand, do. but what I'm gonna say to you is, it's, it's, it's always connected in the story. Yeah, but you already pinned him as being guilty. I'm not pinning him. You said he got these underwater tunnels, so hey, I'm, I'm maybe he playing with little kids. No, or kidnap a kid. Report. I know, but, but it's no, just it's, it's, let's go full circle with that. No, but hold on, it's it's, it's a conversation. It's not real. They didn't they didn't put any proof that he had trafficking kids yet. So at the end of the day, again, what I said was those are the fascinating things about big houses. Most people with a lot of money have those tunnels, have those panic rooms, and all that stuff. So. Again, let me take that into our next conversation. And the reason I brought the kids up and Hold I on. DJ C Love. DJ C Love said he paid Cassie for a reason. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He paid him he paid her to shut her up because he didn't want certain things out there. But I mean what can you say? You, we don't know the truth. We don't know what goes into it, but we only know what we see. But at the same time, going back to the child trafficking piece that part right there goes to show you that if that is the case which we don't know allegedly everybody and anybody could be involved in child trafficking you know what i mean well if, just well, think about what trial child trafficking even is human trafficking let's, let's, let's change even that to even human with human trafficking let's let's put it out there that i could say you brought me to your house when I was asleep and took me to your house and wouldn't take me home. You can go to jail for that. All somebody got to do is accuse you of it. You proven it, you guilty until you prove it innocent. It ain't innocent until you proven guilty. You're telling me to take an Uber. No. No, I, I, I live in, I, well, it's even, Explain to me how someone can get in trouble. It's, it's, it's trafficking it's is going somewhere against your will. But if so you anybody can house, say anybody, anybody can say, say that he held me against my will. He wouldn't let me leave. R. Kelly situation. These are these are big chicks telling me that they they stuck in a room and they can't go out in the daytime and they can't leave there. No, they don't want to leave. They wasn't handcuffed. They wasn't tied to the bed. Ain't nobody ever said anything about that. Somebody chat in with that. What do you think about trial trafficking? Do you think human that, huh? Human trafficking. Okay, you can use human trafficking, trafficking, children trafficking, whatever trafficking is. You're taking somebody against their will. They don't want to be. Even the people that come over here, they pay all this money to, to come over from Mexico and all that stuff like that. That's trafficking. They paid to get over here, but you're trafficking those people. You're moving people from one place to another. So still trafficking. It's all on what a person is saying that it is. You can go to jail for that. And 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 uh, DJ RBI say especially black men, they go through that. So let's define. Hold on. Uh, DJ C Love said uh, they were still minors. R Kelly people that were that were staying at R Kelly's house in R Kelly's situation. Well, you know, based on uh, the the documentary. The parents, for some of those, had a lot to do with that. Of course they did. They had a lot to do with that. So I feel like the parents should go to jail in that situation, too, with R. Kelly. Um, nobody's perfect. 
and most times people emulate or repeat what they went through as children so like r kelly he went through a lot of the sexual abuse and he's just repeating what he saw and what he dealt with even um in the debarge story they those kids repeated what they went through so you got to look back wait a minute who in the who in the barge did you ever watch the no nah, i didn't story? watch the story the barge story yeah. the kids which the ones which ones to, who um what was the oldest one's name i can't uh, remember the oldest one's name the he, oldest one i can't remember the his oldest name. boy was was molested by his father say it. we can hear you say it. Bobby, 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 Bobby yeah, yeah it was Bobby. Bobby that was molested by his father. Did you see the show? Did you see the show? So his father molested him? Okay, so he ended up molesting his kids? He molested his his brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. he was repeating what he saw and what he knew. So a lot of those things, and then you look at some of the things that came out with Pop. His the, uh, Allegedly, the story was his mother used to take part in some of these kinds of acts. Whoa, whoa. And I mean, allegedly, whoa. this is just a story. And whoa. of course, you know, the people that are around them that sign these NDAs, they're starting to come out even more and starting to tell more stuff. They're getting these bold, uh, say it with your chest attitudes. You know, they're saying that, you know, his mother wasn't the savory person that she was supposed to be. But what do we know? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, DJ RBI said, uh, James, James DeBarge, is he the oldest or Bobby? I think James was the oldest, right? It was one of the older brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I just, I'm getting reports. Yeah. Um, it might have been James. We're gonna, we're researching it right now. Yeah. But, uh, but also too with, um, also too with the 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 relationships that these people had it was a lot of money transferring and uh being moved around by these people and Ooh. same thing with like bill cosby bill cosby's situation was they had all these women up there saying he did all these things for them and the the the, the interviewer said hey look we will lock him up if you agree not to get money and all of them was like hell no i have a problem with the, <laughs> the bill cosby situation you know, Bill Cosby's situation is set aside from the others because all of these, and may I say it, old women decided they wanted to come out 20 and 30 years later. Bill Cosby didn't pose a threat to these women Okay, 20 D and 30 years later at the age of 80. So come on now. DJ RBI said it was Bobby. He said he it made a Bobby. mistake. He said it was okay. Bobby. It was yeah. Bobby. But yeah, Bill Cosby didn't pose a threat to these women at 80 years old. So they waited 35 years to come back and say that he drugged them. So he could lose the deal, allegedly, that he was about to make with I, I, the television I think, network. I, I think the biggest thing about that was, what I was trying to say was, I, it was about money. I get it. It wasn't about what had happened to them. It, it was about money. Once three people came up, then everybody stopped popping out the woodwork. And I think the same thing, because I want to get back to Diddy. I don't want to stay on Bill Cosby, but uh, same thing with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the sharks come, it ain't going to be just one. All the sharks come. when they, it's, Like they say, when it's blood in the water, when it's blood in the water, the sharks is coming. Yeah, it's just it's inevitable. But, um, but yeah, the Diddy situation is crazy. I don't believe it until I see real proof. Uh, it was crazy to see, but I always look at it as when something's about to pop off, our heroes or the people that we believe in, they take them down. When they can speak out and change, you know, Diddy has an audience, man. Like the audience is probably 10,000 people in a stadium. But how many of those audience or those those immediate those close range people have anything good to say about them? Yeah, but I'm just saying it's the masses that they care about. They don't care about the five or six people. They care if he walk out on stage and say, "Don't vote for Trump," that that's gonna hurt him because most people are followers. You know what I'm saying? They want to be like somebody. They love somebody. You know, same thing with Michael Jackson. It was hard for people to believe Michael Jackson did that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I still don't believe Mike did it. 
They still ain't had no proof. You know what I'm saying? Same with, I mean, what the conspiracies are, as far as the radio, I mean, as far as the uh, the different record labels, the Sony and all them people, they kill our artists or people that have very influential. They kill them. They tear them down and kill them. So right now they're going after Diddy Money. They going to they gonna shuck and jive him, and he going to be paying out, shelling out money. Your boy, uh, um, Russell Simmons. They was about to do him the same way. He just was smart enough to get out of there. They was going to bleed him dry till he had no money and no way to come back. So he sold everything and got out of here and went to a, a non-expeditional uh, 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 country. I think um, with that, with any situation like that, they grab the main person and then all the people dissolve around them. Yep. yep. They start to hate them. And then they talk about, they start to discuss the next person, like, on the back end. Like, they're starting to talk about Jay-Z now. Right. They, they've, been, they've, been, they've been messing around with Jay-Z for, for a minute, but, you know, they've been but trying to work up some type of story Diddy. saying that the sister found Jay and Diddy together. It's just, it's a whole bunch of stuff, but we talking about he say, she say, because people are trying to make news. But I gotta say, DJ C Love, uh, DJ C Love, we didn't. I didn't say that uh, Diddy said uh, don't vote for Trump. I was saying if he said that, a lot of people wouldn't vote for Trump. He Diddy has a lot of. I mean, these artists, these major artists, have a lot of followers, over millions on their Instagram. So all they have to do is say something, saying don't do something, or buy Coke, or buy Pepsi, or don't buy Adidas. They can start a movement against the, the 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 big guy. So we don't know what he could have said or what he was doing that wasn't televised, but he stand to make something, you know, mess something up. Just like what's the doctor everybody was going to? Tupac went to him. Uh, Doctor Sebi. Yeah, <laughs> these people are dead now. You know what I'm saying? People that was doing documentaries on him changing that was going to change america because america's all you know they make a lot of money off of health care and the drug administration and stuff like that so anytime you got that bread and you you can say something that people follow you i mean they'll kill you you can even have proof because one thing about dr sebi he had proof that he was able to do the certain things that he did to to cure people but that's the power of the power in your in your your actions and your words but um getting back to what we were talking about as far as the human trafficking piece you know i think there's like some confusion in what human trafficking really means because when we think about human trafficking we automatically go to sexual uh acts or kidnapping to sell people their their body parts but let's just clarify everything that goes into the human trafficking piece. And it's, it's the use of force, fraud, or coercion to obtain labor services um, or commercial sex acts, which is included from people. To, the goal is to exploit the victims for profit. So it could mean anything from making somebody do something, making somebody work, making somebody, you know, do anything for money. But sex, uh, sexual um, acts are a part of that. So when we say human trafficking, we need to be specific when we say sex trafficking because those are two, I mean, they all go into the same, but it could mean different things. So um, as far as what we're talking about, it's sex trafficking and we've heard this so many times with each and every one of these artists that we're talking about and I think that this is something that's in that underground world that is something we don't see and it only comes out with our black men or whoever our leaders are when they want to take our people down and put our our leaders and our people that we look up to in a bad place because each and every one of them have had you know that attached to them from 
Bill Cosby to Pete Diddy to um, what's his name R. Kelly R. Kelly and uh-huh. any other artists so I think the biggest thing is do we expect that and if it is true in that sense is that something that they have to agree to when they become famous and they get this money and they get this fame is that something that they have to fall in line with because if that Illuminati situation that everybody talks about is true then who's behind it and the people behind it put us out there and that's what I say and I mean when I talk about our people because our people hit front and center when stuff like this happens I mean of course we got the Weinsteins and Harvey what is it what's what's the island Epstein Epstein I'm sorry we got Epstein and we got others, but how many of them do we hear about? We just got the Nickelodeon guy, you know, that uh, was uh, doing all this stuff with these kids. You know, it's it's crazy how all of this comes out now. We wonder why all these people start having these breakdowns and having these mental uh, health issues. We see it on camera. We see it everywhere. So, but we see... Now it's starting to make sense why everybody's starting to have these issues. And then the ones that don't fall in line, they come for them and try to tear them down too. Like Kanye West. Kanye ain't no crazy. He's not a nut. Kanye is just, he's He's a genius and he's he's crazy. But he's crazy. The thing about (laughs) him is they couldn't shut him up. Well, I mean, they can't he's a genius, so he'll figure it out. But I wanted to say that uh, Charmaine said uh, Dr. Sebi is the truth. She says he also uh, won Supreme Court curing HIV. Yep. And DJ RBI said, oh, okay, he's saying he, he got to get some rest. Hey, man, thank you for joining in. Tell my nephew, I say, I love you, boy, I love you, boy. Thank you for jumping in. Hey, we got to have you on as a guest as soon as we can. Uh, and uh, we appreciate you, bro. But you were saying? I I was just basically saying, you know, it's one of those things where we got to look at the big picture and we see it's starting to make more sense now that all of this stuff is coming out. Things that we knew, we thought we knew. I don't think Jaguar Wright is crazy. I've always believed Jaguar Wright because when she talks (laughs) about all of these things that are starting to happen and they're coming full circle... She ain't crazy. She knew what she saw. Shamanra. Shamanra. Hope I got it right. Go ahead. But people are labeling her crazy to make people not believe her. But guess what? It's starting to all come full circle now. Well, I'm going to say this. She's been talking about it forever. I'm going to say this. She is a nut. The girl is Let crazy. Let her be a nut. But I'm just a nut saying. will tell the truth. I'm just saying. When I think, you get somebody. I think she lies. I think she's crazy. I think she does crazy stuff, and I've met her on several occasions. I've done shows with her. What and do you guys before, think about Jaguar? Y'all tell us what you think about Jaguar. But I can say to you this way, when her son was killed, she went crazy. But she didn't and it's forget. hard. I mean, I ain't saying she forgot. I'm just saying a lot of stuff she say is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, a lot of things happened that was already known that she said, but it was a lot of things in there that's like, come on now. She attention seeking. She ain't doing no shows. Ain't nobody hiring her for no shows. She ain't doing nothing. She's doing a whole bunch of interviews, getting paid. Okay. That's her way of getting paid. So I think she's crazy. I think she says crazy stuff just to get attention. That's just my opinion. Okay, so why are, are people attempting to knock her off and take her out? Because she's crazy. Well, if she is a, no, she attacking people at barbershops. Did you see where she attacked the barber? Attacked her husband at the barbershop? I'm just that's crazy. Saying. That's that's crazy. Hey, there are a lot of crazy people out here. Did, just, you, did you not just tell me that all of these people genius? Yeah, crazy? They, well, that's what I'm saying. You can't believe everything they're saying I, if they're crazy. That's just my my personal thoughts. Right, I'm saying mine you, too. When a person, you can tell you can feel when a person has some validity to what they're saying i can't i can't feel it i can't feel it i i I can't tristan i I can't feel it when they crazy i can't feel if they if they saying good stuff or bad stuff just plain old crazy 
Make a good beat. Good beat. You still crazy. Your story, your <laughs> I story still love your don't beat. Change. Your story don't change. <laughs> still, I love your beats, but you a nut, nigga. <laughs> I don't want to sit in the studio with you. I'll wait till you finish. But you gonna, you, if that beat is <laughs> right, but, but, then you're going to get it. All right. And so he's a genius it. making beats. That means he's a genius in life. A crazy nut. Hey, that's just my thought, you know. See, love, what, you, what do you think? What do you think about the, the crazy, uh, crazy genius? Uh, Charmaine Ra, uh, Charmaine Ra. I, <laughs> hey, cuz, I love you, baby. I'm trying to get it right. But look, um, tell me what y'all thoughts are about these, uh, when it's a thin line between genius and crazy. Do you believe what they say? If they, you know, sometimes I think it's a conspiracy theory, and sometimes I think it's just they want attention. What do you guys think? Put it in the chat on Twitch, put it in the chat so we could, you know, talk about it. I feel that it comes out in the open so no one can touch them. Okay. When that's, that's, a lot of times when people say stuff and they start saying it to everybody. I'm going to start saying shit to everybody. <laughs> they say it because they know what the, the other people are capable of, especially when they go for a direct punch. No, if you, if you they talk capable, about somebody and they you capable their, of killing you eating you for dinner at the dinner table, chewing on your toes, you don't want to say nothing. I ain't saying nothing about somebody about this that could stab me in the forehead. I'm going to keep quiet. I ain't going to say nothing. You, Your secret is good with me, bro. Because <laughs> you can touch me anytime. You can touch my kids, my, my, my family. Oh, no, I ain't saying a word. Uh-oh, I, hold on. I got some people. Okay, so... Charmaine Russ said, genius at music, but not on all topics, right? Uh, C DJ C Love says, just because they are crazy don't mean they're wrong. Okay. That's I right. Gotta, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I understand that that's the way y'all think. I don't think that. <laughs> I mean, you know. I don't think you that. Know, you don't discount so somebody the crazy, that if their story don't change, you don't discount Man, it. you, you start if you, to listen to if you, it. If you repeat that, Joan, enough, you end up believing that, Joan. But a lot of, a lot of times, <laughs> if you lying, say, that nigga touched my butt 12 times in the club, that nigga, you really think that nigga touched your butt? So but most then, liars, if they lie they so well, they believe their own lie. Them. They're going to come back later, forget what they said. And no, nah, that's story. not always true, man. People people tell so many lies, man. They end up believing them lies. If you this dude, hold on. So say a dude that I don't know, but I heard about, dude lied and said he was the CEO of, what, what was the record label? He was CEO of uh, uh, Gotti's label. What was the name of his label? What was the name of Gotti's label? Murder Inc. Said he was CEO of Murder Inc. He probably said that John so much to himself that he really thought he was CEO at some time. Even if he hung with them niggas. Nigga, I was CEO in my former life. You know what I'm saying? People believe the shit that they tell. And in order to say that John so it's believable, you got to believe it. I mean, hey, but if you smart, you start to figure that crap out. If you're smart, you I... You do research. Yeah. Research. I mean, you could do the research, you know what I mean? But if you believed it in order to do the research. You was like, yeah, man, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I got some doubts, but that nigga said he's CEO. So if he said it's so believable, you got to check it out for yourself. It ain't just like, man, all right, he's, you CEO. Sometimes when you're a smart cat, you want to check it out. And then you see it and you say, oh, snap, he was... Not CEO. <laughs> but you believed it, though. You bought him some water, gave him some butt, talked to him a whole lot, let him get him, go take you into to the club as his boot. You know, I mean, look, I don't, I don't know, man. I, For me, I think that crazy people are not people to believe. If he say, come down this alley with me, and he a nut, I'm not going to believe that it's good things happening in that alley. <laughs> I'm going for Hey, go ahead, Kanye. You, I'll catch up. I'm gonna ride in my own car. All right, go ahead. What, what you got? What you got? <laughs> Ooh. But you, you ready for your next topic? I'm listening to you. You, you I, I finished. I'm finished. Okay. Okay. Oh, you needed me to believe you. What? Is that what you're saying? Cause you, you hey, hey, wake up. Did you see that pause? She had a long pause. Like I'm waiting for you to finish. 
she, she knew I was finished. She was like, you ain't believe me. You ain't believe me, Seymour. Feed me, Seymour. What? You was acting like, like, because I ain't believe you. You weren't going to say nothing else. What? Believe me what? Believe you in saying that, you know, crazy people can be telling the truth. They can. That's A- and they could be lying. Psychologically, they can. They, they, they know the difference. So you've been dealing with a lot of crazy people, huh? No. <laughs> she set herself I probably, up. I probably have. These know. people are nuts and I love them. <laughs> Put it in the pocket. <laughs> Need more bacon, please. See. But yeah, you know, just thankful. Hey, be cup. thankful that be thankful that you ain't in that mess. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've been I've been on at some point a side of that. I had people lie on me. I just had a guy that lied on me 30 years ago and I saw him on Saturday and this dude this dude has said uh he heard me on the phone telling a lie. I was like, "You nigga, you lying. I know what I said. I would never say that." No, man, I heard you say it. This nigga was going to make me believe what I said and I know I didn't say what he said hang on to that from 30 years ago? I didn't hang on to nothing. I I, I didn't speak to him. I, he ran up behind me trying to talk to me. So, I, I you know, I, 30 years, I'm like, it's you good, dog. It's over. It's, it's you straight. But he wanted to have a conversation and make me believe I did something wrong that I did not do. Because he really believed that he heard me on the phone. So... But you knew that was... That's, that has nothing to do with what we were talking about. Yes, it does. That... You knew that. People lie. Uh, Listen, people lie and try to make you believe that the lie was true. And to them, it was the truth because they had said it for 30 years that you did me wrong. They really believe that. It's like then the lie went into, I heard you say it on the phone. It's like, what? But if you're a nut, you're a nut. (laughs) Okay, okay. That's a nut. I guess that does play a part in what we're talking about. Makes sense. Well, I mean, it, I'm, I'm just putting it plain and simple that it, it can go both ways. It's not just one-sided. If, you, you, if you're a genius or if you these people making these people credible, you know, um, people listen to those people and make them credible, and they really, a lot of them aren't credible. So either stay out of it or do your research. If you haven't seen these people do these actual acts, then... You when can't you say, believe these people. When you say stay out of it, who are you talking to when you say that? Like, are you talking about I'm our saying, conversation in no, no, regards no, no, to it? No, no, no. I'm saying that people, I'm saying that people um, actually uh, f- spread the word that these people are saying not knowingly that these people are lying. They don't really know the truth. Well, that's media. But, that's huh? media in general. You oh, know, yeah. You're going to see and hear things that aren't or are true. That's why we say allegedly. Yeah, but a lot of people don't say allegedly. You ain't say allegedly just, just now. I said allegedly You was like, yeah, time. I believe her. I mean, she that's, did it. that's my personal, he, my personal thought. No, but I'm saying. Jaguar, right. right I but, believe, I, but I believe that there's some truth in what she's saying because she has why? a lot Cause she Jaguar, of. Right? No, because she has the the. There's just certain little things that are there that I pay attention to on a psychological level when it comes to her and how she talks and what she says. So C Love said, "Trust but verify." I mean, th- that's my personal opinion. Right, you know, no, we, we, get we that. can't change my personal opinion on what I feel <laughs> and what I don't feel, but that's not left for me to tell everybody. Oh yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. My personal thought is that there may be some truth or there is some truth in what she's saying. Okay. We don't know which part, but there is some. So, so okay, so uh, Charmaine Ross said Jaguar Wright is off her rocker. She is. She's a nut. Ever since her son died, ever since her son got killed, she lost her mind. And that's when she started really going out talking about all this craziness. You know what I'm saying? She was getting that. in trouble. She's not Jay Z's not helping her. The Rockefeller ain't helping her. Uh, uh, Rock Nation's not helping her do nothing. She ain't had no money. She said it. You know what I'm saying? She had a nervous breakdown. She she got issues to the point where I don't believe nothing she say. I feel for her. I feel her pain. I love her, but I love the old her. 
this new person and all this speak all and these people are doing this. I think that's a that's doing her a disservice because she's looking crazy out there. And I think one of the biggest things is that I can't believe what she's saying because she's damaged. You know what I'm saying? All these people hurt her or didn't stand up for her. She says it. And and I'm going to hurt you because you hurt me. Or oh, because I think you hurt me. Because you didn't help me do it. Huh? Regardless of what she's doing it for, how crazy she is, she saw things, I'm sure. Not sure. I saw things. She saw things that she's trying to talk about or she's talking about. And whether or whether or not it's all true, some of it may possibly be. Rinka. And we don't know. How's her mic point. out there? Can you hear her good? Okay. We don't know what's true and what's not, but in listening to it, I feel like she's hurt and there is some type of truth in what she's saying. I don't know what parts, but there's some truth in it. So C Love says, uh, but does that mean she's lying? So I assume, that doesn't mean she's lying. It right. doesn't. It, it, we don't know. Right. But that's my personal opinion, and I'm entitled to my personal opinion. We're not. We're not. Hold on. We're not. We're not attacking you. No, 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 no. I'm we're not, not attacking you. We're not. Attacked. Okay. So I I, I'm attacked. just saying that we understand it's your personal opinion. <laughs> yeah, I'm just you know trying to saying? make sure you understand. No, it's I, my I, personal. I definitely understand. It's not what I'm saying to be true. It's just my personal opinion of the, of. Right. Some of it may be truthful. So my personal I, is I she's a nut, a nut and I don't believe her you what she's saying. That right. That's what I'm saying. I'm we all right, so well, let's move on to the next okay. drink. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. C Love said uh there are a lot of damaged people out there. Doesn't mean she's lying. Okay. I got that. Yeah. I got I I I think she's I think she's exaggerating a lot of things. I don't think she's really talking. I, I don't take her word as value. You know what I'm saying? Because she's hurt. Because she's damaged. So I, I would do what you said. I would uh, I would verify these things. We don't and have to stand in court for it. So it really doesn't matter. You know, we're just talking about our, our opinions. Oh, yeah. What definitely. We think. So definitely. either she is or she's not, it don't really matter. You know, but just for the conversation, you know, we sh we're sharing. Okay. You know, but I do have a, a uh, we're about to end this out, but I just wanted to touch on something that's connected to what we've been talking about tonight. How do you feel about um, the conversations around uh, these moguls and these artists out here knocking people off to advance in their careers? Like, what you mean knocking people so, off? So... Like, okay, and not just in their careers, but uh, to avoid being exposed. For example, uh, back to the Diddy situation. He, it's alleged that he knocked off his his kid's mother. Nobody. Because she was doing a tell-all book, nobody, allegedly. Nobody ever said that, though. Nobody ever said that he yes, killed they her. They, they, who who said that credible? Said, who said that credible saying he killed her? I said allegedly. Right, but who said that? Uh, several reports have been out that... That has been something that he did because she was doing a tell-all book on him. Okay. That's one. It just came to um, to play that, who was it? What's his name? Uh, Nipsey. Mm -hmm. There was a conspiracy or something going around about Diddy and Snoop Dogg uh, knocking him off because... Uh, he was about to come for, for a Snoop Dogg spot. It's just so many different <laughs> things. And then they talk about how Diddy knocked off uh, Biggie and Tupac and, you know, all these different things. How do you feel about those kinds of things? And that's, I that's mean, I don't feel no way about those things. I think that a lot of that stuff is what it is. It's a conspiracy. Nobody, nothing has been put out there to be the truth. There's a lot of people that have things to gain from just having the conversation. I was in Diddy's camp. So I know all. I was in the studio with Diddy. I'm, no, I'm, just, I'm, you know. I'm telling you, you asked me a question. I'm okay. giving you my answer. Okay. A lot of those people are broke now. Those two record labels are done. They are gone. And anything that I can sell to the new to a person that wants to listen to and entertain that craziness, then they're gonna tell a story. Television. 
tell a story, see a vision. So people, they get paid for those interviews. That they, 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 they ain't doing them interviews for free. They get paid. Uh, they get paid for that. So I, I don't believe none of that stuff. I believe once they get in court and they sit these people down and they had the conversations and they find out the truth then. I want to see it in court. I want to hear these people, you know, what they're saying and all that stuff and if they lock them up forever. You know what I mean? I, I think a conspiracy is just what people thought up. You know what I'm saying? And until it's proven that these things really happen. It all goes back to. I don't give it to them. I don't just be like, yeah, Puffy killed Biggie. I mean, I know the rumors, but that's what they are. They have rumors. And people talk like them joints. It's rumors is true. And it's like crazy because I feel like I'm in the music industry a little bit. And I feel like that people could say the same thing about me. You know what I mean? And then I'm in trouble. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get out this joint because I ain't really do it. Same thing with the dude from Saturday. I didn't do that, but I'm fighting the fight. Like, nigga, you been telling people for 30 years I did that? I didn't do that for 30 years. So when I get rich and I get I get all this money to be able to buy people cars and help people get homes and, 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 and stand up in my community, somebody gonna come out the woodwork and tell that lie? And then they tell it so well that it's believable and then somebody gonna say, man, I think he really did it because John said he did it and John is crazy, but I know it's some truth to that. You know what I'm saying? He love the kids and he do this stuff. And then maybe, maybe, like I would die, man. That's, yo, please know the truth before you spread the rumors. You know what I'm saying? The tabloids is crazy. They show pictures of, of these guys, real, these big major artists, fat and sloppy. And the first thing they say is they broken. They they on they on the skid row. And you be like, I'm getting big for a movie. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I lost all this weight. 50 Cent, when he lost all that weight to do that movie about AIDS and whatever, they, were, they was, they were the tabloids now. went crazy on yeah. that guy. Yeah. I think the moral of the story is, to be honest, not enough of us stand behind our, our, our icons, our legends, our, our people when things go down. We, we get involved and we talk about them. And just like everybody else does. So it all goes back to how we, we fight for each other. You know, if judgment is big, people are going to judge. People are going to say what they're going to say. But I think a lot of times we fall into the category of judgment against other people. So the key is to keep the judgment piece out of it and just use the demeanor of putting yourself in someone else's shoes and understanding where they are and what would you do if you were in that situation because you could easily be in a situation from a lie you're one lie away from being in their situation or in any situation that can take you down you know so so, so dj tone 5000 say whatever they said you did shablash you did it <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do it. I well, swear on four small people. Hey, and then DJ C Love says, Shablaz, do you think that Diddy did anything wrong? Um, I don't think Diddy did any wrong anything wrong. I think We don't know. No, I no, he asked me what I thought. Oh. So I don't I don't yeah, my opinion. I don't think Diddy did anything uh until it comes out. Until a real deal come out. But I think also think that if enough people scream fire. Everybody's going to run. <laughs> eventually, everybody's about it there. You know what I'm saying? When you see smoke, like, I'm like see love, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you. So, like, if enough people, he said something about, uh, oh, he said, when the alphabet boys are coming for you, it's more than just smoke. That's, I don't believe that. I think. I think it's a system. I mean, I, I, I watch and I know a lot of cops and I know a lot of uh, SWAT and stuff like that. And I listen to them. And a lot of times it be, they compile stuff. They get a snag and they run all the way down the line till they get to the sweater and then they dig up the sweater. Rather they find what they were looking for or not, you still on the radar. You know what I'm saying? So 
if enough people are saying it's a fire, the fire department is coming. You get what I'm saying? If it's no fire, they gonna break down walls, they gonna rip your stuff up to find where the smoke came from. And then it come to find out it was a little man in the shoe smoking a cigarette. But they had to come. You know what I'm saying? So I don't chuck to DJ C Love, I don't think it's always smoke. I think once you they've been called, they have to come. And they are the last resort before the real truth comes out. When they get to the FBI, they take all the information that the police had, all the information that the detectives had, all the people that, the, the lawyers and all that other stuff, they go through all that, then they come for you. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, look, people lie all the time and they lie on good people. And it ain't, it ain't no, just because he's a bad guy, I'm gonna tell on, they lie on good people. They lie on preachers, all that stuff. And a lot of times what happens is People don't have enough stuff going on in, in their lives, so they lie on other people. Well, be it the case, we'll never know. But guys, thank you for joining us tonight. We are about to get out of here. Our time is about up. Uh, join us next Monday at 7 o'clock for DJ Shablass on the ones and twos, and at 8 o'clock for The Word. And we'll be back with a whole nother topic. Today's topic was interesting, so... Let me it, say. It, what'd you say? No, I wanted to say, hey man, it, it, it is a great uh, a great show. I'm glad you guys checked in. Uh, we was on Facebook. Facebook got cut off because of the music, but that's why I also gave you guys told you about Twitch. Thank you for hanging on to Twitch. We had a nice amount of people on. Spread the word. Tell tell a friend. This is, you know, if you like the show, if you like the music, uh, the uh, RVA, the Boombox. We appreciate you. Thanks for hosting us. Uh, we are here every Monday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. 7 to 8, I will be rocking uh, old school classics, maybe 70s, 80s today. And next Monday, we may go to some R&B or to some hip hop. Everything uh, below 2021, I, I, I guess 2021 music. Um, uh, like I said, uh, DJ Shablaz, world famous. Please follow. Uh, Dr. Stancil on Instagram and follow at DJ Shablas on Instagram. Let us know how you feel about the show. DM us and let us know what you how you feel about the show as well as uh, hit up RVA the Moonbox on Instagram and let them know how you feel about the show. Uh, appreciate my kids over here sleep laying down. <laughs> Uh, Tristan, yeah, the, he's one of the, the one of the best producers, young producers coming up. So you better pay attention. I will be posting a, a flyer of his, so you can find his beats for all the artists and people that just like to listen to dope instrumentals. And uh, my baby Kristen, she over there sleep. She's doing a whole lot of stuff, basketball, cheerleading, all that stuff. So cheer on. And uh, Dr. Stancil, thank you for uh, hosting The Word. And next Monday, we are back here at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> and and don't uh, be scared to send us some ideas. And if you want to come and have a sit down with us and talk and, you know, just have a small little panel, we could do that too. You know, we're open to ideas. We're actually going to create those things. Um, this is our second show. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And we really appreciate your support. And we'll see you next week. Oh, oh got to tell, tell you, plug the clothing. The, clothing. the website. The website. Makaya's Creations, M-A-K-Y-A-S, creations.com. Okay, and tell us about it. Um, everything, hoodies, everything. That's one of our, our businesses of several. Um, but it's it's my favorite one because I get to create and design and hand make everything <laughs> when I have time. So do me a favor, uh, <laughs> yeah. put the link in the, in, 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 uh, the chat of uh, Twitch. The link will be in the chat for Twitch. Uh, also, too, we like to um, let you know that we are open for sponsorship. So if you're a company or a, a business and you want like for to be to sponsor the show, we are open to that. So DM DJ Shablas or DM Dr. Stancil. Uh, hit up the Boombox, the RVA, the Boombox, 
and check them out. They have a whole lot of stuff going on all through the week as, as well as special events. Uh, you can hit the website up. Uh, follow them as well on Instagram. It's WRBX uh, RVA Boombox. Is it RVA Boombox? Oh, the RBA, RVA Boombox. So it's WRBX RVA The Boombox. I am still sitting around. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the chat. And you guys check out the website and check out the link. Check out them out on Instagram as well. Because I'm sleepy and I am messing up their call signs and everything. Thank you, guys. We out. Good night. Peace.